Today we're gonna talk about some awesome free YouTube tutorials that will help you learn how to create different projects using simple techniques in Blender. Some of these tutorials are great for beginners, others will help intermediate and advanced Blender users to learn interesting concepts and techniques. We're gonna start off with a very cool tutorial from Pixel 3D YouTube channel. You will basically learn how to create dancing simulations using Blender and Mixamo which is an online platform that has big libraries of characters and animations that you can use with your projects. What makes Mixamo a good option if you want a quick solution for animation projects is the wide range of options you have at your disposal in addition to the fact that these animations are created using motion capture, which makes them believable and realistic. The instructor will show you first of all how to use Mixamo, also how to add animations to your character in addition to how to bring all of that to your Blender scene. Then you will go through the process of adding particles, in this case it's gonna be hair, but you will also learn how to make it dynamic and believable in a way that moves and interacts with the body of the character. Next we have a very interesting tutorial from Rescan YouTube channel. It is gonna teach you how to create a fantasy artwork using Blender. The first thing you will need to create is a rough blackout of the whole scene, and like we have seen before during this process, you will just need simple geometry primitives such as cubes and cylinders. After that, you will add simple terrains using the ANT landscape add-on. The add-on will help you generate random terrains with controllable properties quickly. This will help you create the terrain, side rocky walls, and rocks. In addition, you will need to sculpt the giant pillars to make the scene look believable. Next you will learn how to add lights and some volumetric effects to make sure that the details are a bit more visible and to highlight the atmosphere. After that you will go to shading, this includes adding materials to the water surface and the rocky surfaces as well, whether it be the terrain, the rocky walls or the giant pillars. This part is not very beginner friendly, because the instructor shows you how he did that in a way that is not considered step by step. Finally, you will learn how to do post-processing for this scene, which is probably the most important part of creating this amazing project. You can also follow along with Steve from the CG Geek YouTube channel, as he shows you in a few minutes how he breaks down the process of creating a simple Spider-Man animation using Blender. He will start by showing you where to get the model and how to rig it, then he will create the city, animating Spider-Man swinging around the buildings. In addition, he will show you how to animate the camera and the webbing. Next we have this tutorial Ponty from the Blender Bros created. It is gonna help you understand the process of blocking using Blender. It is actually one of the most important steps you can take in creating anything, whether it be weapons, vehicles, and especially something big such as environments. You will learn first of all about the general understanding you will need to go through when blocking, and why it is such a great thing to do. Then you will see how the instructor demonstrates the concept easily using the scope model and how he was easily able to recreate the general shape using simple primitives such as cylinders, boxes, and so on. This will basically lift the weight of thinking about the limits of your model and where it is going. Also it will give you perspective and clarity. You will also see in this quick tutorial the method of blocking an advanced model of a hybrid vehicle that can work in and out of the water. Even though this is a very quick tutorial, it is gonna help you see why blocking is important. If you are interested in learning more about the process in depth, Blender Bros created training that goes through the process of creating a fish vehicle that you can see in front of you right now. This video from the very vague YouTube channel is probably the most entertaining tutorial I've ever seen recently. It is about creating the 90s style of anime in Blender. What I like most about it is that the instructor started the video by giving us an introduction to the topic in which he talks about how animation studios from the 90s were able to create masterpieces and how things changed recently. Then he begins the actual tutorial by creating different 3D layers to the city scene. These are the foreground, the midground, and the background. This technique is a common theme that you will see him using a lot because it gives you the opportunity to work similarly to 2D productions. But the difference is that we are using 3D objects as layers. Then he adds lights and shaders to make it look like real 90s animation style. Using the same concept, the instructor also shows you real quick how he created the car animation scene and how important using 2D tools with 3D is to achieve the desired look. He also goes into explaining how animating the background gives the illusion of animation from the perspective of the camera. 
Later he shows us different projects he created using different techniques and approaches. For example, the train scene and especially the city car animation scene in which he gets into more details and the different methods he used to finish the scene. Since their introduction in Blender, geometry nodes have been a hot topic amongst users, with each new version offering more and more functionalities, opening up the possibilities for more creativity. You can follow Nathan from the Ducky 3D YouTube channel as he shows you how to create this cool disintegration transition effect using geometry nodes in Blender 3. Using the delete geometry nodes and a simple setup, you can get really good results. In a 20 minute tutorial, Nathan will walk you through the whole process and he will talk about shading and some tips and tricks along the way. Decoded on YouTube released a 20 minute video breaking down how he recreated in Blender the opening scene from the original Blade Runner movie. It was broken up into 10 different shots, starting with a bird's eye view over the dystopian future of Los Angeles in 2019, zooming into the big Tyra Corporation building with the final shot being inside one of these office's cubicles. First, he will start from the last office shot by matching the focal length of the camera and recreating the objects in the office scene. Next, you will see how to animate the human model and how to create the smoke simulation from the smoking animation. Then you will see how to recreate the city using the geometry nodes and how to recreate the big building and add details using the discombobulator add-on. For texturing, you will use a free program called GS Placement. And you will finish off by doing some compositing and color grading. Everything is explained in simple terms, that's why it is a great tutorial if you want to create a movie scene from your favorite movies. And on the same topic of geometry nodes from the author of Byjan Adon, Cortis will show you how he came up with the generative modeling workflow in Blender. He will start off by showing you the old process and the limitation of the modifier stack. Next he will delve into the geometry nodes and why it solves a lot of problems in Blender. In this 40 minute tutorial, he will walk you through each geometry node tree, explaining each and every one of them. This is great to watch if you want to get into geometry nodes and want to learn more about their importance and applications. The latest tutorial from Gleb Alexandrov on YouTube is all about photo scanning. This artist has been creating photogrammetry artworks and projections for years now, and he also created multiple tutorials about photo scanning so far. So in this tutorial, he will show you the workflow he uses for photo scanning using 100% free software. You will start first by capturing your photos, in addition to camera settings and angles. Next, you will jump into Darktable to develop the raw photos. Once your images are ready, you will export them from the Darktable software and start the reconstruction process in Meshroom. After that, you will do some sculpting in Blender and turn the high poly mesh into an optimized low poly mesh. With this one hour tutorial, hopefully you will have a good idea about the photo scan workflow and how to go about scanning your own photos and the software used for that from the shooting process to the final optimized result. Also Polygon Runaway on YouTube released a 20 minute video about how to create a low poly stylized 3D planet. With an easy simple step by step breakdown, you will go through creating the planet and extruding the islands. After that, you model some objects to populate your planet, such as a house, a tree, boat, and a plane. And using face snapping tool, you will scatter objects throughout the planet. Then you will take a look at some material setup and how to get the best out of colors and lighting. If you want to learn how to make a short animation using the grease pencil in Blender, Kevin from the Kevin Drum YouTube channel will walk you through the process of using the grease pencil in Blender 3 to create a beautiful bakery building. First, you will learn about the grease pencil and how to use it in Blender. You will also learn about the different modes of drawing planes and stroke placements. And although it is recommended to use a tablet, it is not necessary. You can follow along using the mouse because most of the techniques that Kevin is showing can be achieved using the mouse as well. Using the box and line tool, you will create the general shape of the bakery and you will finish it off by adding details and grass. CG Dream YouTube channel released a two-part tutorial detailing how to sculpt stylized 3D character head in Blender. The workflow you're gonna learn in these two parts should get you started with character sculpting. You will start by picking up and lining up your references, blocking your character first, and blocking the overall shape. After that, you will see how you can remesh your model and sculpt the fine details to breathe life into your character. In the second part, you will further refine the details and finish sculpting. And at the end, you'll finish it by adding some materials. 
In the middle of this tutorial has automated voice commentary. By the end of it, you will have a good idea about how to sculpt a character by yourself inside Blender. The next tutorial is about, that's right, you guessed it, it is Geometry Nodes. Kaizen Tutorials on YouTube will walk you through the process of creating fully customized, colorful geometry nodes based on audio waveforms. By the way, it works similarly to the Spectrum effect in Adobe After Effects. First, you will start by adding a curve line. This will be the baseline of your waveform. Next, you will add the Wave Texture node to animate the curve. After that, you're gonna import your music track and bake it into the curve's animation. Then, you will adjust the shape of the waveform using the Color Wrap node to taper the edge of the waveform, in addition to giving it that frequency look. Finally, you will finish everything off going through some shading and compositing to give your waveform colors and glow. If you found these tutorials useful, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.